previously on Trekking Outdoors. Well, there we have it. They're still crawling up my trees. Thousands and thousands of fire ants just started crawling up my arm. <laughs> Tagged out in South Carolina. And yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. On this episode, Tyler, Uncle Steve, and I make our second annual trip to Texas to hunt whitetails. We're going to try to get on some pigs too, so I guess we'll see what happens. And many of you may not know, but the guy to my left here, this is my son Eli, and uh, he's done quite a few giveaways. He's gone on some hunts with Tyler and I, and we already have a winner picked out, so do you want to take that out of the cup and all right, read the winner's name right there. I'm going to Texas. Yep. I'm going to Texas with my dad and uncle to hunt white white tails. White tails. You're going hunting with Tyler, Uncle Steve, and I in Texas for white tails. <laughs> what do you um, think about that? It's pretty. <laughs> you can't even talk. Are you going to shoot one? Mm -hmm. Oh man, this is going to be incredible. <laughs> you said in the beginning of the year that you had some goals. Your first one was what? Being in the, I mean, winning most of all my football games. Yeah, winning most, most of your football games. And what was your second goal for this year? Shoot, shoot a giant buck. <laughs> shoot a giant buck. So, surprise, we just surprised you. You're going to Texas. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be awesome, man. Yeah, it's okay. We don't have to lie. We know it was kind of bad because you were next to him. No, I was talking to him. And the good part is because oh. I was next to him. A lot. <laughs> he was talking to you a lot? Oh, yeah. <laughs> seeing free range access bucks like that.
This segment is brought to you by Vantage Point Archery, Rotted Up Blinds, Halo Products Group, Deer Crossing Archery, Hit'em Right Coffee, Stunt Blender, Flint and Flame USA, and Buckstick, the all-in-one licking branch and mock scrape system. Well, hey guys, welcome to Texas again. Yes, second uh, year. Second year in a row, and we're all in camp this time. Except we got my son Eli here, who's gonna be hunting after his first whitetail buck. And that's all you've been talking about the last couple days, right? Yep, the whole trip here, he's been like, I just wanna shoot a big buck, shoot a big buck. <laughs> he's out here with the binoculars looking already, and he just can't wait to get to bed to wake up in the morning. But before we do anything, that's right. Your right to passage on becoming a hunter, outdoorsman, whatever you want to call it. We got a few things you have to partake in, all right? So the first one Uncle Steve has. So we've got to get ready. I've got, it was a hot coal, but now it's a cold coal. It's not, not hot at all. So I'm going to give you some, some war paint for in the morning. It's like a, and then we have another thing we gotta do, Uncle Steve wanna grab some of that ash. It's like powder dust. You got some on your fingers. Ready? <laughs> now the third thing that you have to do is put that chair back. That's right. Best Uncle Steve you gotta do white a, tail dance. A white tail dance. Get up and start boogieing, baby. <laughs> right here. Right here. Show me some antlers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now kind of go around in the circle a little bit. Let's go get some boogie in and kick your butt. <laughs> no, keep going. You gotta do it. You want to hunt a buck in the morning? You just go. Come on, I'll show you. Here we go. <laughs> do it all together. Alright, White tails are in trouble in the morning. Now you can't wash that off all night long, so you have that. You'll be ready in the morning and just be all camoed up. Can I wash it off when I'm done hunting? Yeah, when yes. you're done. All right, Uncle Steve's gonna tell you a little bit about what it means to be an outdoorsman and how special it is. Yeah, so I think the biggest thing about being an outdoorsman is just to respect the animal that you're going after and just know that you're, he's giving his life for you to have for food, you know? And that's, God, that's why God created all these creatures, that they're just able to wander around and we're able to go after them, harvest them, and use them for food, probably maybe for dinner tomorrow night. Like if you shoot a deer, we're gonna put part of that deer on the fire and, and cook them and use them for our nourishment, you know? So I think just always respecting the animal, that's a, a huge part of the outdoors. And it's something that will live with you forever. You'll make memories as a young kid, with me, Uncle Steve, everybody else that you're with, and then later in life, maybe you'll have a family of your own and you'll make memories in the woods and moments that you'll never forget. And it's just something special just to be able to take to the field and enjoy God's country and, and chase his creatures. Yeah, and it's not always the harvest either. It's the part of the whole hunt that's getting up to the point of the harvest. So you don't necessarily have to get a deer each time you go out. It's just the part of being out there and just taking in nature's elements. Mm -hmm. Having absolutely. fun, absolutely. You hit it, man. You ready to get this thing started or what? Good job. Give him a fist pump. <laughs> Give me a fist pump. Let's, oh, we want to do our handshake? Let's go, man. Welcome to Truck and Outdoors in Texas. Hey, Tyler said he owes you 10 bucks if you wake up before him, right? Mm -hmm. And is it the one right there? Yeah. Nope, keep going. Pretty excited. $10. What are you gonna do with that 10 bucks? Save it. For Buy me something work. good? No, save it. Save it. Look at the little boy in his little bunky bed. Wait, where's, where's Uncle Steve? <laughs> Didn't want the top bunk, huh? Where's no. Uncle Steve? Steve went home. He got sick. <laughs> this is the same thing you said at the airport. Oh.
if the deer is moving in front of us, okay? And he hasn't, com you have to wait till he comes to a complete stop. Wait till he's standing still and then pull the trigger. You know where to put the crosshairs, we've practiced. All right, so look at it. practice real quick. Don't put your finger on the trigger. Does that feel pretty good? Like what if you had to go like that? This segment is brought to you by Vantage Point Archery, Routed Up Blinds, Halo Products Group, Deer Crossing Archery, Hit Em Right Coffee, Stunt Blender, Flint and Flame USA, and Buckstick, the all-in-one licking branch and mock scrape system. yards for your first deer so we'll look at the footage and we'll see what happened okay and I can go and look at like like where he where I shot him and look if there's blood we will we're gonna see if you hit him though first okay When he moved, I, I, I didn't shoot him right there. So then I went up his leg with the scope and I moved right in the middle of the body and I went boom. <laughs> Dude, I freaking love you, man. Good job, man. <laughs> go look at him. Alright. You good going down? Oh, 
poop. Hey, good job, proud of you, buddy. Love you. I think it's over there. Just be looking real close, all right? Okay. Uh, I shot him he was like right here, and I'm like. Well, let's walk up a little further. Maybe we'll see a little bit. There's poop. Poop right here, yeah. See, boy, tell me. This segment was brought to you by Accurate Archery. Accurate Archery provides the only yardage marker tape light in the world. Visit accurate-archery.com to get yours today. Is that him? Where? I see him cleaning the brush. Where? Right there. Is that him right there? Thanks for his butt. <laughs> Come here, man. Dude, good job, man. Congrats on your first deer, dude. Hey, you freaking got him, dude. Hey, you freaking got him, man. <laughs> All right, let's get up there, man. All right, easy. Hey, easy. Go up there. Here, let me poke him. Let me poke him for you. All right. Mm-hmm. He's dead. <laughs> Good job, dude. Dude, that's a one, two, three, four, five. He's five pointer. <laughs> He's five points. <laughs> Good job, man. Good job. Can you see where I shot him? I shot him right there. Right there. Yeah, I went up the lake and then uh, bring him. Okay. Yeah, good job, dude. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> good job, man. Right there, right there, look. I know. Right there. You smoked him, man. I wanna hold it. Oh, you wanna hold him? Yeah. Get him, hold him. All right. <laughs> Talk about it, baby. So, he was, uh, we were up on the stand, and then he was looking down, and then I just went right up his leg, and then shot him right there. And then, so he was, he ran, we couldn't find him, but then he came over here, and then I was walking over there, I said, hey, I see a brown thing, and then it was the deer. And right here. You got him on your first shot ever on a buck, and then you found him before anybody, on your first try. It's just amazing. Chicken Outdoors on the board in Texas. <laughs> Good job, dude. Now we're moving. Well, we're here in Texas, our second annual trip here uh, as a crew, and little man just shot his first whitetail buck ever. Boom. And uh, do you want to say a few things, or what do you think? What, what do you think about the whole experience? Exciting. Exciting. exciting and exciting. <laughs> I taught you everything you know, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you did everything you were supposed to, man, and I'm very proud of you, and I know the rest of the guys are, so it's a pretty awesome moment yeah. right now. So Made a great shot. Put it all together. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was the coals on the face or the dance that maybe happened. You know? Maybe yeah. that whitetail dance we did last night, huh? 
That yeah. might have worked. I yeah. think you and Uncle Steve should do a floss dance after this. <laughs> pretty, pretty. Uh, really proud of you, dude. Congratulations on your first whitetail buck. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> What an awesome time to be in camp and share that moment with my son and all of those around us. And I know those at home that have taken their kids into the outdoors, they, they can relate to that and how special that moment really is. And when we were in the deer blind with, with my son, he had the opportunity to take a bigger buck, but it was just something between him and the smaller deer that they just locked. And it was meant to be, and just seeing him, you know, take it all in and do it all on his own. It was a special moment that'll live with me forever. This episode was brought to you by Vantage Point Archery, Routed Up Blinds, Halo Products Group, Deer Crossing Archery, Hit Em Right Coffee, Scent Blender, Flint and Flame USA, and Buckstick, the all-in-one licking branch and mock scrape system able to what am I doing with myself and so right now got to be kidding. all right ready <laughs>